Hey guys, I'm back. <clears throat> and we got the, um, I believe, I'm pretty sure, that this is Monthly Knife Club Ultimate. It's uh, definitely Monthly Knife Club. Um, I took the label off already, but it's too big for anything else. So, you know, it's got to be the Monthly Knife Club Ultimate, which I like to be fully transparent again. Never in my life have I paid for a Monthly Knife Club Ultimate box. Uh, Daryl, <coughs> excuse me, when he has one, will send me one because um, he has, because you know, if he if he ends up with an extra one at the end of the uh, subscription cycle. Um, <coughs> sorry, guys, but we're pushing through. Um, if he has an extra one, he'll send me one so that we can unbox it together, and then you know, sometimes um, give away some items from it or whatever. But uh, so. Just so you guys know, I have not paid for anything that's in this box. Never have. Um, so, Monthly Knife Club, what I'm pretty sure is the ultimate for 2023. Uh, November, sorry. Let's get into it. And if, as always, <clears throat> link to Monthly Knife Club in the video description so you can check out all their stuff. They have so many different subscriptions. And I've loved Monthly Knife Club since I first subscribed to the Onyx and then you know, other stuff later on, but I've been doing the, at least the Onyx, I think is the oldest one I've ever, I've ever undone. Oh, I can't even tell you, it's been years now. So, um, <clears throat> let's see. We've got a bunch. Now you are, I am gonna say, you're gonna get, you're gonna get a, in the ultimate, you're gonna get a, a variety of different things. And I'm always honest with, you know, there's there's some meh and don't like it stuff in, in the Ultimate Box, but there's also some really cool stuff that comes in the Ultimate Box too. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, wow, I sound like I'm going through puberty right now. <clears throat> we've got, we've seen some really cool stuff in the Ultimate. So um, there is gonna be a little bit of a mix because it is a full subscription box. Um, it's not like, like in, have I been saying Onyx? I hope, I, I hope I've been saying Ultimate. Um, in the ultimate, you get a whole like the Onyx always has that one great knife. The ultimate is a whole box uh, based on three different levels. So just you know, <clears throat> I I got to be totally open and prepare you guys for everything. So in the ultimate, <clears throat> you get the advanced, the premium, and then the ultimate. And <clears throat> I haven't seen the rest. <clears throat> you know, my other two. From monthly night club yet left yet so we'll hide it so i don't get spoilers on the tier two or the uh, onyx <clears throat> so all these values are going to be msrp as you know and they build just like you know any other box so we get the ultimate here so we get everything that comes in the premium and the advanced so let's take a look at what we got <clears throat> so first thing in the advanced is the Kershaw recap keychain tool. Now they call it a whole keychain tool. Uh, MSRP on this is $7.95, and I think that's honestly about fair. It's basically a mini pry bar, which a lot of us like, and I have a few different, <clears throat> few different ones. Um, the tools they say are lanyard hole which I think that's not a tool. Come on, don't call that a tool. But a pry bar, slotted screwdriver, bottle opener, those are the tools on it. Having the pry bar in your pocket sometimes is, is I mean, you could just tell me it's a mini pry bar and that's good enough because <coughs> I use that uh, at the shop and in other assorted activities sometimes, having a lightweight mini pry bar is cool. Having a bottle opener, okay, what well, doesn't have a bottle opener? And yes, you can use this as a slotted screwdriver. This guy's super lightweight. What is it made of? Um, it does not say. Uh, I'll look it up. I'll look it up. If I, I mean, if they even say it, but it's got a nice finish on it. And like I said, it's uh, very small, a little smaller than some of the other ones I've seen, um, but lightweight put it on your keys and you won't really notice. Um, I love the finish on it. I wanna make sure I get the finish. Do you see the finish? Okay. I like it. <clears throat> like I said, it's a little smaller than some others, but for $7.99, uh, not bad. I, I would 
actually consider like if this was just one of those things that popped up on Amazon and they were like, you might be interested, I'd probably pick it up. I'd probably try it out. So we'll put it in like it. Always useful to have. And, you know, like I always like to say, since it's just a nice big bare metal, customizable options out there too. So cool. <coughs> Next is the 12 Survivors Fish and Fire Kit. Valued at $15.59. We just unwrapped one of these. It's one of these paracord wrapped survival kits in there. Um, we we just did one of these. We just looked at one. It has all little, <clears throat> basically like a fishing kit and then a little extra inside. Uh, here's what is in there. I'm going to leave it up for a minute so you can read it. Okay. Did you read it? If not, you go back and pause. Um, I'm going to open the package just so we can take a look at it. Now, I, I've always said I've, I've never really... I personally have never been a big fan of these things. Um, because really, once you open them, <coughs> getting them all nicely back, uh, packed back like this is a real pain. This is a little aluminum guy with their little logo thing over here, so you can, I don't know, do whatever. But to me, like the real value here is you get all the, the 550 cord and then the extra stuff in it. Um, I've given away, I don't know, five or six of these on the channel. People really like them, so we're going to do a giveaway with this guy. Um, people people that are not me <laughs> um, and not, not, you know, hard to please uh, really do seem to like these things. Um, and, you know, for packing it away in, uh, <clears throat> you know, you could just take it camping and then open it up and use it, or you could, you know, save it for an emergency. I mean, there are like I said, people that are uh, not whiny as me really do seem to like these things. So I'm putting it in meh, but other people really do seem to like them. So that'll be a giveaway item. Um, next, the S-Tech fixed blade knife and sheath. This has a value of $19.99. I'm guessing that's what this is. And I'm guessing uh, I'm probably not going to be a big fan of it. But uh, let's see. Well, <coughs> this looks like it swivels somehow. Does it swivel? It looks like it would based on that in there. And maybe I'll figure that out. Um, oh yeah, you'd have to unscrew that. This little paddle here set up right now, I guess for vertical but I suppose you could set this up for, um, you know, scout carrier or whatever. Not quite Kydex, but like polymer sort of plastic sheath. Um, and different kind of options, belt loops and, and whatnot. Uh, or you can just take the thing off, I suppose. Still have that little nub in there, but let's see. It just seems like it would have been bigger as it was sitting there, doesn't it? Um, so plastic scales. No idea what kind of steel this is. None. None at all. It's just... Uh... <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. 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 It's got a karambit style ring. Uh, doesn't let my hand get really too comfortable down in my hand. It's not bad, but not that I'm karambit trained or anything anyway. And it, when you have a big hand, it does become a little uncomfortable down there. So my pinky actually wants to, I mean, that's not entirely comfortable. I don't know. This is not a thing for me. There's always going to be people that are going to tell me, <coughs> oh, I like that. I'd carry that. Good. Awesome for you. Um, it's not for me. It's just not for me. It cuts the paper. I don't know if this will even show. It, I mean, with a little bit of just a little bit of honing, this thing could be. This thing could be like razor sharp. Um, how long it holds that edge, I don't know. Um, if you're into this is a I you know 
a kind of yeah it's a traditional drop point i definitely feel like it's set up as as a self-defense fighting style knife which again not my thing it is you know length to length to, to blade stock it's a nice it's a good thickness um i feel like you probably could if you edc a fixed blade I, listen this is what i would do i would take a dremel and I'd cut off this ring. I just would, and then I'd and then I'd kind of round it off a little bit to make it more comfortable, so that my pinky could more comfortably fit around it without having that. I mean, honestly, maybe put a little jimping in there. And even though it's a, a cheaper kind of knife, it it might be something that could be a fixed blade EDC sort of deal, uh, you know. Um, but with my size hands, it just doesn't. It doesn't. It. I feel like there's something that could be done with this though <clears throat> honestly as it is right now though I, I just don't I really I'm not a big fan of it um, I would I would tend to say you know out of the box I don't like it keeping in mind that you could do something with it maybe it's more towards the meh um, but you know it's probably not great steel and it doesn't say I, I doubt we're gonna I doubt we're gonna find out what kind of steel it's made of um, but so I, you know I'm gonna put it in don't like it for now with a little modification maybe I could but we're not gonna play the if game now and then finally in the advanced is the Tactica K150 oh that's so little <laughs> it's so little uh, I have not been a big fan of the Tactica K100 when we've seen it in three, four boxes before. This seems to just be a shrunken down version. Somehow I like this better. Honestly, somehow I like this better than the the uh, the 100, the full size. It has cleaner action than the full size version. Um, imagine that. I know it's weird. Ooh, it is. I feel like the size of this thing is making it a little hard for me. I feel like I'm using a midget's knife. Uh, it actually does, like I said, has a cleaner action than any of the full size K100s I've used, and it is. Um, <clears throat> I lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. Um, it's it's for a knife of its size. It's got a bulky handle, which I like. Because if I'm going to use a knife this size for anything, I want to really be able to get a good grip on it. So, sixty five dollars though. The original tactical was way overpriced. And again, considering that this is an MSRP, um, you know, I'm not surprised. Uh, it does have a lifetime warranty. Um, here, <clears throat> let me give you some dimensions there in metric. So, you know, figure that out. Um, however, <clears throat> here's the thing. The difference between this and the 100 is I could actually use this as a little blade at work. Cutting tape, cutting films, um... <clears throat> using it for small EDC type tasks. And again, like I said, it is, it's just smooth um, and lighter. I could, I could put this on a little clip and carry it around. I don't agree at all with $65 for this thing though. Um, <clears throat> do they talk about the steel? Designed in Australia, made in China. Uh, we don't hold China against it because there are some good things made in China, but um, <clears throat> we need to figure out where it's made. I mean, what kind of steel it is. But I could actually like this. This guy could work. I could actually have use for this one. I don't like its, its MSRP, but I like it. Um... I don't know, I might change my mind once. Oh, there it is, 8CR14. I definitely don't like 8CR14 in this size for uh, for the price, but 
I definitely like this one better than the full size. Um, eh. I'll put it in meh now that I think about it. But still, something I could use. Um, I'm going. I'm going with the price to material to size it, but um, still, you know, it is what it is. Um, so there we go with the advanced. Uh, this is still much better than the large size one, as far as I'm concerned. Total value MSRP wise is one hundred eight forty nine. Moving into the premium plan. <clears throat> Hold on a sec, guys. Okay. <clears throat> You got everything in the advanced plan, and then the Nightcore Multitask MT21C flashlight. This is a value of $72. Now, Nightcore, um, I've reviewed and I've tested some great lights by Nightcore, and they make some really great stuff. And check this one out. <clears throat> I have really liked stuff from Nightcore. Here we have an angling head, which is cool. We've got a magnetic base, which is cool. Um, do I need to, of course I do. I need to take a little cap out, a little plasticky. Well, this is just silly. <sighs> okay, I've never seen this before. It doesn't come with the battery. I've honestly never seen this before. Okay, um, I've never seen a, a light. Well, I mean, no, not the, I can't say I've never seen a light that doesn't come with a battery. That's not true. I mean, back in the day, nothing came with a battery, but it doesn't come with any mini batteries now. <clears throat> so it'll take an 18650 uh, standard size. All right. Or two CR one twenty threes. Those are those are non rechargeables. Or you could use RC one twenty threes, two rechargeable ones. But it doesn't come with a battery. Like when was the last time you saw a modern light not come with a battery? That's crazy. I don't have any battery. I don't have any batteries here to to even test it out with. And the thing, what really sucks is that, other than that, I think all the features on this would be great. We've got a 1,000 lumen turbo, 400 high, <clears throat> 190 medium, 50 low. We've got a one lumen like moonlight mode. We've got a strobe and a beacon and an SOS all at 1,000 lumens. But how do you, in this day and age, not give us a battery? Yeah, you know, I guess, and and I, I look now and I don't even see a recharge, recharging cable, which most companies give you a cable to recharge, you know, your battery with. Um, and I've never seen a Nightcore not come with batteries. I mean, we got extra O-rings, we got a clip, which you could put on for, you know, dual-sided use. Worldwide warranty service. I'm very disappointed that it doesn't come with a battery. I don't know what to say about this one. Um, I was all prepared to like this, to put it in like it. It's got a nylon sheath. Keep it in if you don't want to clip it on. Um, you know, the clip would be extra good because then you could use your 90 degree angle. I'm sorry, I, I, I'm like, this just took all the wind out of my sails and I don't have a lot of wind in these sails right now. Oh, 
uh, for $72 in today's market. With today's lights, you absolutely should should be able to take it out of the package and 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 use it for a little tiny bit at least, um, and then maybe have to charge it. But this is uh, this is disappointing. So I couldn't even tell you like a, I mean, if I had to just pick based on this, it would go and don't like it because it's not usable, not even chargeable out of the box. But I we don't even know how it works, so we're gonna have to come back to this guy. I mean, I know I have the battery. I have a battery that'll fit it somewhere. I don't have it right here. I. All right. Disappointed. Then finally, in the ultimate plan, <coughs> we're gonna add a, uh, an SRM knife. A SRM makes pretty good knives. I've got to admit. Um, this is the SRM Unicorn, seventy-four fifteen titanium folding knife. Value is eighty-four ninety-five can't open the box. I'm hoping this blows me away. Um, what is this? This is a uh, multi-use shovel thing. Well, that's little too. But it is a nice blue anodized titanium. Oh. Well, I see why it's called Unicorn. I'm not a fan of these scimitar Persian type blades, personally. I'm just all kinds of no fun today. Use the foam. But, 154 CM blade with all titanium frame, titanium clip, deep carry clip. I mean, so at least we've got our nice knife to end it with. Yes, it is small. EDC sized. Um, now you know what? This titanium doesn't look the nicest, but that's probably because it's been touched during packaging. So I'm going to clean that up real quick so we can look at it. There's some beautiful blue color. Um, it is very EDC friendly, which I like. And you've got some very nice grind lines going on. Uh, frame lock. Perfectly centered. Fit and finish is actually great on this. G10 backspacer. And even for a small knife, I don't have any problems because my fingers can fall right into this groove here. I don't have any problems with my hand blocking the, uh, the detent on the lock there. That's actually really great. Oh, and it is super sharp. Very nice. It's light too. It weighs nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all. I wonder if we have specs here. Let's see. What do we got, SRM? Um, well, of course, the unicorn's not on here. Well, I'll look it up. I'll put the specs in. But this is a really nice little piece to end off on. At least that's that's a really nice piece. This is something I would I would I'd probably carry. I mean, the blade shape is not my favorite, but you know what it does do? It lets you get in full contact with something on the ground. Um, keeps your hand out of the way if you need some slicing or just on the ground cutting power. And it is like I said, super light. Takes up very little room in your pocket, so this is pretty cool. Totally worth. I mean, for the steel and the titanium and everything, eighty five dollars. Seems like a lot for a knife of the size, but you got to take into account the materials and everything, and that works. So this guy, um, oh, it is it is tip up with deep carry clip, but it is right hand only. But I don't care because I'm right handed. So there. Yeah, this guy definitely goes, and I like it. So, all right. So let's take a look. Uh, the total box, the ultimate plan total value they say is two sixty five forty four, but. We still really haven't evaluated this flashlight at all. <coughs> I say it should come with a battery. I don't know what Nightcore's doing. And I feel really stupid talking up Nightcore only to find out they didn't even send us a battery. So, in the like it, we have the little pry bar. We definitely have the unicorn knife. That's nice. In meh, we've got the little 550 cord survival grenade. <clears throat> we've got the Tactica 
which again I think is so funny because I don't like the larger side, the bigger sides. I don't like it at all. But I still think I can I can make get some use out of that. You don't like it? We've got this guy. What is he? The S Tech Explained knife with modifications. I might I might actually like this. Uh, not high end. <coughs> might be something I could use. As is, I don't like it. And then floating around here, we have the. Um, the night court light which i'm pretty sure i would like in use but the way it comes out of the box there's no way to tell because we need a battery to use it with so that is it <coughs> i will thank daryl again for sending the box for us to look at um i yeah i'm gonna be totally honest you know there, there have been ultimate boxes i've liked a lot more than this but uh to each their own um you know not going to please everybody. I, you know, I'm grateful that we have one to look at. Um, and I know that Monthly Knife Club puts out some really good stuff. Uh, you know, this one's just not thrilling me. What do you guys think? Uh, let's talk about the box overall. Let's talk about favorite items, least favorite items. Um, what you think? Uh, hopefully, he'll have an extra one we could look at for December, and maybe December will be awesome as like a Christmas box. But we'll see. So my for, my favorite item is definitely the unicorn knife. I think that's a pretty good piece, and I think it's something we could, we could carry around. <coughs> when I get my hands on battery, if this worked well, this I think it would be would be a really good light. I think it would perform well. Maybe we'll give it a sway too. So. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you uh, sticking with me during the plague days. I hope that those of you who aren't already will consider subscribing and doing that like button and uh, commenting and sharing and stuff. In the meantime, please remember that you guys are all absolutely awesome. I appreciate every single one of you, and I'll be back again real soon.